Hey everyone, welcome to Game Developer Assignments, a new series where you'll play the part of a developer in a mock video game studio. Each assignment will start with an email from your producer asking you to add something new to the game with some specific details. This project will start from where my SFML tutorial series ended off, with each assignment having its own branch on GitHub. This means that you can do the assignments in any order if you'd like to follow along at home. I'll go over setup details in a bit. In addition to being able to do the assignments yourself, I will also be doing each assignment and uploading a video showing all my coding and thoughts along the way. I think this is a great way to improve your C++ and game development skills, especially if you're interested in working as a game developer in the industry someday. So without further ado, let's go over how to get set up. Before you get started on an assignment, if you haven't already done my getting started with SFML tutorial video, I would start there to make sure that you have SFML downloaded and you're familiar with how to get it working if something isn't going quite right. Once you've done that, we can open up my GitHub page and left click on this code button here and click copy URL to clipboard. Then open up Visual Studio 2022 and click clone a repository and paste in the URL. I'm gonna rename this to assignment one SFML, then click clone. What this will do is it'll copy the repository from GitHub to your local drive. The next thing that you'll wanna do is go to this get changes window. And if it's not there, you can click view and click get changes to open it up. Left click on where it says master, go to the remote section and click assignment one or whatever assignment you're doing. And this will sync you to the branch for that assignment. Doing this will do two things. One, it'll give you the readme with the email from your producer. And two, it'll put you at a point in the project where it makes sense to do the assignment. Before we go any further, you're gonna to wanna to right click on your project and go to properties. Um, and then in the general tab, you're going to go to C++ and in the additional include directories, you'll wanna change the user here from Andre to whatever your name is. And additionally, if you didn't download SFML 2.6.1, you'll wanna change this to whatever SML, SFML version you have. Additionally, you'll wanna do this in the linker section under additional library directories. Now, the next thing that you'll need to do is transfer over the debug and release DLLs. But before we do that, we're gonna to wanna to try to run the game once in debug version and try to run the game once in release version so that the appropriate folders are created for us. So we'll just run this once in debug, close that, and then run it once in release, and close that. And then we can open up File Explorer and go to the um, repo that you just created. Additionally, if you want to, so you can open up the README now and just confirm that you're on assignment one or whatever assignment you're expecting. If you'd like to view this email from your producer in a little bit of a uh, better formatting, you can go to the GitHub website, left click where it says master branch, change to the branch that you're interested in, and then you'll be able to see the email from your producer um, in a formatted version. Okay, but besides that, the next thing that we'll wanna do is move our debug and release DLLs into the right folder. So if you left click on the DLLs folder and then debug DLLs, you can copy your debug DLLs. Now go into X64 and go into debug. And if this debug folder is not here, it's because you never tried to run your game in the debug version in Visual Studio. But go into your debug folder and then paste in the debug DLLs then go back to the DLLs folder and copy the release DLLs and additionally put these, whoops, put these into your release folder. And now if we go back to Visual Studio and we go to run the game, you'll see that it launches in the release version and additionally it launches in the debug version. And now you are all set up to do an assignment. So read the email from your producer carefully and good luck.